Alright guys, so this is where things start to get juicy. Let's get into the spoiler talk for Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. So let's start out with the biggest spoiler of the movie. Superman dies. I cannot say how much I love that they actually went through with this. I thought that they weren't going to do it. I was just thinking the entire time that they're going to cop out and, you know, try to, like, you know, bring him back in the end. But no, they actually go through with killing off Superman. And I loved it. I thought that was a great thing that they did, you know. And this is really ironic saying, you know, seeing how big of a Superman fan I am. But I think that it was good that that really showed, you know, a lot of people who criticize Superman that he is not an invincible character. He really isn't a god. He is, you know, he's mortal. Although I feel, though, that if they didn't reveal that Doomsday was ever going to be in the movie through any of the trailers, that the whole, like, idea of this happening would have been, came much more of a shock when we watched it in the movie theater. Although I do wish that they saved, like, the whole, like, you know, um, Doomsday thing for a later time in the DC Extended Universe where we had Superman around for a little bit longer to get more attached to him. I'm happy that they didn't cop out and just have Doomsday in this movie and not go that far. The way that they sneak the Flash into this movie, because they mentioned that the Flash, Cyborg, and Aquaman all make cameos in this movie. The way that they sneak the Flash in here actually is pretty clever. It shows him kind of coming back in time and talking to Batman, like trying to say like, oh my god, like warn him something about Superman in the future. I don't know if it was a dream or not by the way that they played it out, but it is interesting to see that like, you know, we could have some very interesting stories, kind of like a Kingdom Come-esque kind of story, you know, coming up very soon, you know, which is, you know, Really interesting to see. DC has always had like great kind of multiverse type things going on. I feel though that like a lot of the things they shoved in, like references to like, you know, with the Aquaman video and everything in this movie felt like, you know, eh, you know, like kind of shoehorned in a little bit. Like they could have worked that in a little bit better. But, you know, for what it's worth, we got to see some of these characters on the big screen for the first time. And it, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be with like all like being shoehorned in. This movie does feel a little bit crowded with some of the other characters like Wonder Woman and everything. Like she really needed more character development, I think. And like I think that would have came if she was just introduced in her own movie before this. So that way like she didn't just kind of pop out of nowhere in this movie because she felt like really pointless. I mentioned before my other review that I really hated Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor and the scenes where he's in this movie just like really just like ugh, it really pisses me off like he's just like he's not good at any of his things and like in the end of the movie he says that like you know he knows that they're coming now and everything because there was a nuclear warhead that got set off in space you guys know because you've seen the movie because if you're watching this video you know spoiler talk and everything but he says that like he knows that they're coming and everything or they know that you know that we're out here I assume he's referring to Darkseid or Brainiac I hope it's Brainiac I want them to save Darkseid for like you know the end of the movie speaking of Darkseid though we do see his minions in Batman's nightmare as well as the anti-life equation symbol which was great I love seeing that his minions look like something off of Apocalypse and everything in Batman's Nightmare. I loved it. It was just like feast galore for like, you know, any like comic book fan. We also get this really cool scene where like Superman throws Doomsday up into space and they launch a nuclear warhead up there to try to kill Doomsday and there's a scene where the warhead goes off and it's very reminiscent of that iconic scene from The Dark Knight Returns where Superman's like all frail and like zombie looking and he's just like floating there in space and everything and like it looks really cool and like the sun comes up and then it shows him like kind of reform and everything. It was like, oh, that is such an iconic scene from the comics. I really like that. And, you know, I've been a big critic of The Dark Knight Returns, but I always have thought that was a cool scene, though. What got me most irritated, though, is that technically Batman kind of does beat Superman in this movie in their fight, and it really gets me mad. In fact, the fight is only a small, small part of the movie, which was one of my big fears. You know, that's what really, like, kind of gets me mad is, like, I wish the fight lasted longer, and it was more about Batman and Superman, because in... It really seems like, like, when they finally do become friends, it's really abrupt. It's just, like, one thing, and it changes. It's just like, huh, well, you know, it really feels like, like I mentioned in my review, everything feels really rushed in this movie, and it feels like what should have been, you know, developing their relationship from enemies to friendship really should have, you know, taken more time. It should have been, you know, the front thing in the movie. Instead, I think that they, it got muddled in with a lot of the other things that they're trying to shoehorn into this movie to catch up to get to Justice League. I thought one of the coolest scenes in the movie, though, was, like, when uh, Lois Lane dumps the dirt on Superman's coffin and you see it start to rise. Like, that was great. Also, I love the scene where, like, you know, Batman crashes into Jesse Eisenberg's, you know, I call him Jesse Eisenberg. He's not Lex Luthor. Crashes into, like, you know, Jesse Eisenberg's cell at the end and just like starts like you know just 
doing the most Batman thing you can think of, just like scaring the shit out of him, and it was great. That was just such a Batman scene. I mean, it's just like they nailed Batman right with that one part. I think all DC really needs to do is just learn to take their time and pace everything out a little bit better. It really does feel like, though, that you know this movie was written by two different people because it feels really different from Man of Steel, this movie does. It really does, but it also does suffer from some of the same problems as I mentioned before. Overall, with like the big things that happened in this movie, I'm really happy that they went through with it. You know, they actually stuck, you know, to the comics for the most part, and they did things that like I didn't think that they were going to do, and they took a lot of risk, and some of them paid off, and some didn't. You know, and overall, like like I said, you know, this movie is has the problems that you think it's gonna have, but for what it's worth, it is entertaining. So like. Yo, know, that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.